This is your CBS 46 News Update, brought to you by West Shore Home. Good morning, I'm Rob Hughes. A man is shot and killed overnight in southwest Atlanta. Police say the victim in his early 20s was shot multiple times on Fairburn Road. Right now, officers are looking at surveillance video in the area to see what led up to that shooting. Also right now, cities and states across the country are enacting strict new social distancing rules in an effort to slow the spread of COVID. Public health experts say the number of new infections is likely to rise significantly in the coming weeks, and that's because as many as 50 million Americans may have ignored the CDC's guidance to stay home for Thanksgiving. Happening today, the CDC is holding an emergency meeting to talk about how the first coronavirus vaccines will be distributed. Moderna asked the FDA for emergency use authorization for its vaccine. Pfizer already applied for authorization. The FDA plans to review both applications in a few weeks. Today, voters will head to the polls for the state runoff elections among the races they'll be voting for. U.S. House District 5, that's the race that will fill the remainder of the term for the late Congressman John Lewis. The term will only last about six weeks until Nakima Williams is sworn in for the new term. The federal runoff election date is January 5th. That's when the Senate runoffs will take place. The Atlanta Police Department is struggling to attract and keep officers. Now Councilman Howard Shook is proposing a new police retention bill that would provide bonuses to officers who stay with the department. He's expected to present the full plan to the council in the coming weeks. Well, many of you are now waiting for packages after catching some Cyber Monday deals, and so are the criminals. Just take a look at this home surveillance video catching this man snatching a package off Martina Drive in Atlanta. Police say there are some simple steps you can take to make sure you are not the next victim of a porch pirate. One way, you can have it shipped to a UPS store or FedEx store or different retail locations in and around your area. Tonight, DeKalb County will hold its annual tree lighting event. It's taking place at the Porter Sanford Performing Arts and Community Center. The ceremony starts at 630 this year due to COVID-19. The event will be held outdoors. Social distancing and masks are required in order to attend the tree lighting. All right, let's get the latest on today's weather with meteorologist Ella Dorsey. If they're going to that tree lighting, it's probably going to be a little chilly. It's going to be freezing out there. It is right now with the winds right now. Feels like temperatures this morning are in the teens and they're going to stay very cold through the day. Even though sunshine returns in the hottest part of the day, 3, 4 p.m. Feels like temperatures are still in the low 30s. We'll climb into the 40s briefly through the afternoon again with lots of sunshine, but it is going to be windy once again. So all of the extra layers you will need today. Same thing tonight. Another night in the 20s. We will start a warm up tomorrow back into the 50s, but we stay unseasonably cool with highs in the low 50s through the end of the weekend. Our next chance for rain arrives on Friday into Saturday. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News, brought to you by West Shore Home, Atlanta's one-day bath remodeler.